my 10 days vipassana experience hello everyone i am dr pravina shetty an expert in yoga shastra and sankhya philosophy i was happy being an intellectual gymnast till i met ms neel durgesh a fellow teacher who is now a dear friend she joined the yoga shala in goa as a core teacher just a few months back When I started my casual hi by with her she came across as a very warm and compassionate human being I initiated a conversation with her on sankhya and the yoga sutras and her knowledge blew my mind off I was buying her lunches and dinners just to have her sound bites but she seemed to be least interested in food shopping or mundane talks but when she spoke about vipassana her eyes lit up She was up for as many questions as I could bowl at her. I, on the other hand, who was content with my knowledge, which I strongly felt was enough for this lifetime, was left a bit shaken at its foundations. I felt a new thirst. After a decade of Yoga Sutras and Sankhya, here was something that had my interest up. She walked me through her vipassana experience of 1 year which was back to back meditation sittings. I was amazed to no ends. As I showed a slight interest in joining, she said, "Didi, if you got the slightest bend to do it, then I will help you fill the form immediately." This is the right time, she said. So I went to the following link and filled the form. In my excitement I filled the form and in 2 days I got the confirmation. The solace was that they provided a link to cancel the program too in case I felt unsure. So there was an ejection lever in case I felt the need to bail out or anxiety got the better of me. I saw many dhamma uh, videos to better understand the stay facilities process etc. I am a yoga asana and pranayam person. I am not so much into meditation. In all this excitement of exploring something new, I somehow miscalculated the duration as 5 to 6 hours of meditation. But here I was in for a surprise. It was 10 and a half hours of meditation and 1 and a half hour of audio visual sittings every single day. So at the end of 10 days one finishes more than 120 hours of sitting meditating on a 24 by 24 inch cushion with loads of pillows below or patacks So in case you have not been used to sitting that long meditating be smart and ask for a chair while registration on the first day I was a bit naive to try sitting down for 10 plus hours and I have paid a heavy price by way of back pain and aversion to that cushion prepare at least a month in advance to help your vipassana meditation sit for at least 1 hour every day with eyes closed and observe your breath see which posture helps wear most comfortable clothes covering the whole body that is a code of conduct to be followed there a dupatta is mandatory for all females Try and eat your last meal by 7 p.m. Wake up at least by 7 a.m. Speak less. Silence is the key there. See the two videos on YouTube and not all the videos. Just the two videos. The link is provided. Try and reduce the use of mobile and digital tools at least one month prior to the workshop. Keep it away and. time them to be used only maybe twice a day at specific timings tell about your program to as many people as possible so that you are motivated to stay there for 10 days go minimalist take print out of the registration form and aadhar card and prints of the daily schedule too the time table that has to be followed there is as follows things to carry I'm going to Vipassana on 28 June 
and I'm preparing my preparations for the 10th day Vipassana course and what I have done is I have brought this pantaloon uh, t-shirts very loose ones XL and uh, from colors I picked up some pajamas very big ones and then I have made these pairs for 10 days and then I am putting these pairs and rolling them so that it is easy for me to put it in the bag. I am carrying a small cabin luggage and one small backpack. That's it. So let's see if I am able to fit everything into it. 10 days preparation. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, extra luggage. So I made these rolls of clothes. Three salwar kameez I have taken. And the rest are t-shirt and pajamas. Comfort is very important during this meditation. There are many things that we are fighting in our mind. The clothes shouldn't be one of them. Comfort is very, very important. Hopefully my bag closes. I put all the rolled clothes into this and if you hear, then the dupattas, nightwares, medicine kit, torch and a clock, toilet roll, a belt for the back, Volini for the back pain in case I get it. So all this I have put here, a towel. So all these things came in the bag and in a handbag I am going to carry my water bottle, the toiletries, one small bag, cotton bag to carry stuff inside for meditation and out. Some warm clothes, mask is not required, but still I'm taking mask and a bed sheet. In this, I'm going to put the hangers too. Day zero, reach the center between two to four p.m. Once you reach there, you can have lunch there if you have gone around two p.m. Take your printout of registration and your Aadhaar card and show it to them. They will then ask you if you need a chair or a cushion. They will allot you the room number and a tag to put on your chair and a form to sign. Then you go to the laundry desk. Take laundry service if it is rainy season or you have taken less clothes. Pay the deposit of around rupees 500 there. At the next table, you have to deposit your valuables and mobile phone. They put it in a paper envelope and tell you to sign at the staple edges. It is now safe with them. Carry less or no valuables. I just carried cash to give donation at the end of the course. At the next table, you receive two bedsheets and a pillow cover and then the volunteer will guide you to your room. Set up your things in the room and settle down. Ten day course, the first now meditation number two, one, two. This basic infrastructure is more than enough. At 6.30 p.m. you assemble in the same registration hall where the do's and the don'ts are explained. Then you will be taken to the meditation hall and you will be introduced to your chair. This is going to be your best friend for the next 10 days. Do namaskara to it for good vibes. 
Now, audio of S. N. Goenka Ji, Guruji, is played. The first step of meditation, that is observing breath, is explained. Your meditation officially starts now. On day 1, 2 and 3, same schedule as given in the daily timings follows. Day 2 is a day when few people drop out due to exhaustion. If you have announced to many people that you are going to this 10-day program, then out of ego, shame or whatever you call it, you stay on and don't quit. I was going to quit as I didn't get a chair and my back pain was hitting the roof. They did give me a wooden backrest, which surely helped me sail through. The lunch is at 11 a.m. and dinner is at 5 p.m. Dinner includes milk, coffee or tea along with unlimited puffed right mixture. That is Kurmura. This is the dining area. This is where you get hot water. And this is the place where you wash the utensil. That's it. You will see the face of any food only the next day at 6.30 am that is at breakfast time. First few days you hog breakfast, lunch and kurmura. But after few days you eat less and less. The cravings go down. You crave for nature and walks. So before lunch and dinner time you naturally gravitate to the walking area. Dhamma Vipula 28 June 2023 to 9 July 2023 entrance and now this is the dining area stay with AC that is the walking area this is on one of the hills in Seawood, Navi Mumbai, Parsik Hill Nice location, good amenities. By day 4, you feel blessed that you got this time away from your mobile phone and the matrix that you have created outside. Feeling of what am I doing here, living out of my comfort zone, why I am doing this. I am so stupid etc. arises too. But by then, you are taught by Guruji to see it as an observer and not an experiencer. Time seems extended and every minute seems like an hour. At the end of every day, your questions are taken by the teachers and dealt accordingly. Every evening, one and a half hour of lecture by Guruji is done and by experience he knows what each one goes through the day. His speech gives solution to all the problems we face that day. It is such a well-oiled program. Day 4 On day 4, the actual Vipassana technique is taught in detail. This was the only time I sat still for an hour straight. I am a Vata Prakriti. It was a very beautiful experience. You are now allotted your cell in the pagoda called Shunyagar. You can opt to meditate there henceforth or be in the meditation hall. Observation Many men were reluctant to meditate there and preferred group meditation. On the other hand, women were happy to go there and meditate in Shunyagar. Those who really meditated came out calm and composed and had more grip on the technique. I went there for three hours but the fresh pain gave me cough bouts and the sound of my cough a cord in the pagoda. So I decided to return back to the meditation hall and not disturb others. Day 5 to 8 These are the most difficult days. Guruji warns you of day 2 and 6. He knows the mind so well. Aversion to the place and attachment to our outside matrix is at its peak. Observation Attitude of gratitude to our matrix and our relationships outside becomes better. We feel a sense of gratitude for what we have. A sense of clarity dawns due to so much contemplation on sensations and feelings of attachment and aversion that is taught step by step. For me, day 6 was very difficult. 
I felt claustrophobic but I just put myself into autopilot mode and made a resolve to finish it somehow. The 24 by 24 question was not helping at all. Day 8 and the 9th. On day 8 at 3 pm you are taught metta sadhana. You have to imagine all your loved ones and give them good vibes. This was a very good feel good factor. I loved it. This makes you feel you are blessed. Day 10th, Vipassana and Metta is practiced. You can now speak to each other and you get your mobile and malleables back. The chaos people make after that is unimaginable. No doubt they make us shut up for 8 days because people go bonkers and talk to random strangers as if they were long lost friends. It is hilarious to see. I did the same. You want to know others experience and want to share yours too. Observation you feel sapped after talking so much and your meditation loses focus that day. The lecture at the end of the day gives you a direction again and you feel good and centered. Day 11th Morning 4.30 to 5.30 am is meditation. 5.30 to 6.30 audio visual of Guruji to tell you about how to incorporate Vipassana in your daily life. Do not miss this. 6.30 to 7.30 a.m. is breakfast and photo session. 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. is clean your room and pack your bag. As I write this blog, sitting on my luxurious chair, sipping a hot cup of tea, watching the serene greenery after the rain, I am filled with gratitude towards my matrix. It brings me more calm and a feeling of equanimity and a lot of respect for people around me.